The IMF tell me the synchronized levels of global growth. I hear CEOs give me an upbeat message. How strong is global oil demand? Oh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty strong, actually. It's growing. You know, I'm talking about 1.5 plus something uh, million barrels per day in growth compared to last year. That's, that's pretty strong, stronger than I might have expected to see, actually, and uh, slightly surprising. But, but that is basically a very key factor playing into the oil price and uh, formation as well. And is that globally? I mean, the Chinese are importing a lot more. We're seeing some of the stats come through from them. Where's the geography of, of, of that uplift in demand? Well, I think the, you mentioned that the Chinese demand seems to be very, very robust and a key, key driver. But basically, I would say still, uh, oil price is, is uh, at, uh, you know, uh, uh, at the lower end of the cycle, and uh, and that, you know, also generally could have an impact on the general demand for for our products uh, globally. So, for the lower end of, of the oil cycle, just listen to Patrick Puyane uh, of uh, Total, and he's saying that volatility is out there, and the head, the frackers will be hedging like mad. What does it take to get us through sixty dollars? What does it take us to break a new bandwidth, as it were, in crude? Well, I think, you know, we have, we have a solid uh, demand, and, and uh, it seems to me that it's, that it would be stable uh, for quite some time. So demand picture is, is obviously going to be important. The shale, how that response to that will be at various levels. We, I think we might have been a little bit surprised that it's, it's growing, but not to the extent that some might have expected. So I think that will be a, a, a critical factor in, 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 this, uh, in this equation going forward.